I know all of us love this staple, the fall blazer. Because it came without a button. 40% off today only. Yes. Oh was, my god, oh, purple rain. Yeah, if you like the, the gold word. with the purple, and if you like the blue with the white. Oh, fall is here. Listen, your girl loves fall. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I can say it, and I'm gonna keep on saying it because I'm trying to manifest that it actually changes fall into California because right now it's hot. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right? You do love fall, though. I do. You really, really, I do. really love fall. I like the clothes. Mm -hmm. I like the weather. Mm -hmm. I like the, the pumpkin spiced whatever. Specifically, the pumpkin smash up Jamba Juice, not Spawn. But please, please call me. I know all of us love this staple, mm -hmm. is also one of the greater staples of fall, and that is the fall blazer. We are actually gonna be trying on three different blazers each. We're gonna do an oversized blazer, cropped blazer, uh -huh. and a colorful blazer hey. to give you guys options because truly like, blazers really have endless possibilities. I know. All of the blazers that we each picked are blazers you can find right now in stores, so be sure to check them out. And then how we're styling them with all the pieces and accessories, we all brought that from our own closets. Fashion show! All right, y'all, round one. This is our oversized round. I'm gonna start it off. So I got this blazer from Zara, which is my favorite blazer destination. Mm -hmm. I feel like all my blazers that I own are from Zara. Yeah. This one is $70, which I think is really good because sometimes their blazers are like 125 That's easily. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good deal. I got it in a size large because I wanted to be oversized. I styled it with some skinny jeans, a Shrek t-shirt, mm -hmm. and these Keds. Makes me think of like an agent. It's him, he's in disguise. I totally forgot that I got it like oversized, oversized because this is long enough for me to make it a dress. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm really happy that I got it this oversized. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong, it's a black blazer. Period. Okay, my blazer is from Pretty Little Thing. It's 55 bucks. And you know, Pretty Little Thing is one of those stores that it's always like 40% off today only. <laughs> Can you believe? I was like, okay, I saw this blazer. I don't have like anything in this stone color yet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but maybe if I get this, I can still make it work with the rest of my outfits. And that's a really cool thing about nudes is that they really do go together even if they're not, they're not the exact shape. So I just put it with these old navy shorts. And I think this, I wanna say this is from like H&M, probably. Um, and then I just put some gold accessories with it, white sneakers, white socks. And it just kind of like has a very like chic yet not too dressed up type of vibe. Mm -hmm. And I really like that because I mean, this is the outfit you'd be wearing on its own. And as soon as you put a blazer on it, it's like a completely different outfit. So. Yeah. Going up. I found my uh, blazer off of Nordstrom. It's actually an ASOS um, blazer, mm -hmm. but they were selling it on Nordstrom. This one did seem like a good fit to me because it has like a little bit of structure and it's long enough. I think it would have been better if I had like a belt to like kind of cinch it together. But I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? This is long enough. I feel like it has like a cool shape. I want to put this as a dress as my first ever blazer to wear as a dress. We popped a challenge! You know, I put some gold accessories on, black uh, thigh-high boots. I put some shorts on for like safety. Yeah. yeah. I had like little black sunglasses to pull in this. Yeah. yeah, I like the sunglasses with it for I sure. I like this. Wait, look at vibe. me. It's cute, this right? It's vibe. Like you look like you're ready to go somewhere. It's giving me like smooth criminal. <laughs> I think one of my go-tos with oversized blazers, like as I'm getting ready, I try to juxtapose the style of the blazer. So if it's extreme oversized, then I'll pair it with a more fitted jean or a fitted under top or whatever, mm -hmm. just because you don't want the blazer to feel like it's taking away from anything in your body. But if you're having trouble styling an oversized blazer, start by juxtaposing them and then go to like oversized t-shirts, loose pants, those, those types of things. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. All right, our next category is cropped blazers, which obviously I think is huge right now. My blazer is from this brand I have never heard of. I, it's Urban Revivo, Revivo, mm. not sure. I literally did a Google search and I just typed in patterned color block blazer. And then I just did that little scrolly, scrolly, scroll, and then I hit the shopping tab. I was like, this is exactly in my head. This is what I wanted because it screams fall to me. Mm -hmm. And this is like everything about cold weather that I like. It's got this very cozy vibe to it. It also has a very equestrian vibe to it, which mm -hmm. I also really love um, just because it suits my more tomboyer style. So everything I saw, I was like, yeah, that's mine. I want it. You're my soulmate. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier too. Like sometimes you just have to see 
what in your closet works. Start mm -hmm. with like juxtaposing it and then go to the same vibe because this is not a fitted crop jacket. This definitely has a more like oversized feel. It's more boxy and it has more space. You wouldn't necessarily think that wearing a more oversized pant would work, but it, to me it just totally does. Mm -hmm. So these are from Express. I am obsessed with these pants. I wear them every option I get, like every audition, every callback, every random shoot. I'm always like, where are my Express pants? Because they just work with everything. I scrunched them into these boots that Drew got me actually from Zara. I stuffed them in because I was definitely going for more of a grungier work vibe rather mm. than just like strictly business chic, you know? Mm. And then I put these little Vogue glasses on. You look like a chic Yale professor. We're here to learn. Um, so I was shopping online and I wanted a really cute fitted, nice color blazer and I came across this one on Club L. Fell in love with the color. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's why I got it. This blazer is $104, so it is expensive. And it showed up without a button on it. I would be so pissed. I'm so upset. So if you're wondering why I have this long ass string still here, I can't cut it off. We have to return it because it came without a button. Yeah. Hell no. It's crazy. I was really excited about this blazer out of all the blazers that I got just because the color is nice and I think the cut is really sexy yeah. and mm -hmm. beautiful and you could style it any way you want. Initially I was going to put on like black like leggings and just make it like a nice sleek look but then I was like I'm on my period. I want to feel casual so I just put on like these loose jeans and it some high great. heels. It's in between like dressy and casual like mm -hmm. mixing the two together mm -hmm. which I like to play with sometimes. It's like oh I have like a fancy blazer on but I'm, I'm casual with jeans yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. absolutely obsessed with this color. It's yeah. great. Yeah. With the gold too. Yeah. The gold is really pretty mm -hmm. with it and I didn't want to put anything underneath just because I wanted the blazer to really stand out with the gold jewelry. So I got this blazer from obviously Zara. <laughs> of course. It's $69, which is also very well priced for a yeah. Zara blazer. Maybe because you only get half of one. It is the crop <laughs> round. I paired it with just a simple white tank top, some jeans, and some white boots. And it's I very really chic. Like, I love this whole vibe. I feel like mm -hmm. when I wear a blazer, it's mostly this type of yeah. situation. I feel very Whitney in this. It yeah. Is, yeah. If I was gonna close it, I would go up a size because mm. my boobs, you can wear it like by itself with a skirt, with shorts. I like this whole like, because it's a crop blazer to wear high-waisted jeans with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a whole vibe. This might be just personal preference, but I think if you're gonna go with a crop blazer, don't wear something underneath that's gonna exceed the line. Yeah. Because then I think it starts to, it's like, why did you do the cropped? Mm -hmm. Right. You know? That's just personal preference. If you like that look, go for it. But I think mm -hmm. it can get kinda, mm. you wear like a long t-shirt underneath. But that's why I like the juxtaposition of the high-waisted pant. So you can still feel comfortable, mm -hmm. but you still get a little bit of skin in that look of the right. separation, you know? I can relate to that. Okay, so we are on our colorful blazer round, and I feel like if a round was a round to be that embodies us. So I initially shopped online and I found like this uh, glitter blazer. And it was actually really pretty. It was a glitter blazer. It came with like a glitter bra top and like these really wide pants. I was like, oh, that'll be fun oh, and exciting. Cute. It could have been really bad or really good. You never know with like glitter blazers. It's like, ugh, you know? So Phoebe, during our lunch break, drove all the way to Zara, and she picked out this green blazer for me, which kudos to her, because the fact that she went today to go buy this, and it fits perfectly, yeah. Yeah. like, just a round of applause for Phoebe. Phoebe! I went ahead and stuck with my theme, and just didn't put anything underneath the blazer. Yeah. I guess that's I like how I'm it. wearing all of my blazers <laughs> yeah. today. I put skinny jeans on, and I've had these lime green pumps from Zara as well. Uh, for the longest time, and I was love like, it. let's just play with the green on green, you know? I love it. The way you have it, just, I think putting it with jeans was a good move. Keeping the, the pants simple, yeah. and making the star of the outfit, the blazer and the shoes. Yeah, I was in the, the dressing room, trying to put different, um, you know, looks together. And I was going with like black shorts and black leggings, and it just all seemed very like too Halloween-y, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. So I broke it up with this like light wash jeans, and I think depending on how you accessorize it with some glasses and a purse, like I think it would all come together really nicely. But I do like the idea of playing with like the different two-tone colors mm -hmm. and breaking it up with the jeans. Nice job. I obviously went like so hard in a direction <laughs> that people probably wouldn't expect. Wait, let me see, I haven't looked it. at you yet. Oh, well, I'm wearing, wow. I'm not wearing anything underneath and I definitely should Beautiful. have like uh, put a little no. something here. No. Let the titties I know, sing. but you know, like I just a little bit different when we're you know, here. <laughs> just a little bit. 
When I saw this blazer, I was like, okay, there really isn't a lot of ways to make this casual. And that's okay too. Like I wanted to go super hard for like this retro vibe. It screamed 60s to me. I love this little peekaboo with a little bottom underneath, like just a little sliver of a bottom showing. The picture online, I will say this blazer's from Akira. It was closed more at the bottom and she was wearing it without anything underneath, but it's definitely not like that. Like it's definitely got a slit, mm. but I really like the idea of wearing kind of like a straight mini skirt with it and then pairing it with these like uh, pumps that are also very 60s in nature because I kind of feel like it's really retro and fun and I feel like I'm ready for like a party or an event or like going out to like a like a dinner or something. Like I definitely mm -hmm. feel dressed up. That's You're fun. like, a, like a, a sexy flight attendant from the 60s. Right, mm -hmm. like Pan Am. Yeah. Hi, I picked this purple blazer. It was fun, I don't have a purple blazer. Yeah. And I paired it with this gold slip dress underneath, slapped a belt on it and put on these clunker boots. Yep. I just feel very 80s. Mm -hmm. I love the 80s. Whitney again. Yeah, I love Whitney. Whitney. I, I feel like I channel Whitney a lot. And yeah. I don't know if it's because of the hair or what, but I like her vibe. I also feel like very Prince vibes. Yes. Oh like my gosh, purple, purple rain. I was yeah. just gonna say that. It yeah. gives me not, it does give me Whitney, but it gives me more so Prince, Prince vibes for like yeah. 80s pop star. Yeah, I really like this whole vibe. I feel like it makes me um, want to work backstage at a fashion show yes. with my um, blazer yes. rolled up to my arms and I'm like fixing someone. Yeah. Like, so yeah. Who's wearing Bob? Uh, Honestly, I feel like if you look at Drew, Jackie, and myself, we're not even going like lightly on the color. We've all gone hard and it's it works. Like yeah. not like thinking about, okay, like pairing this with like a pink or a black, like going gold is such a big, like huge difference in color. Mm -hmm. This orange and this pink are both neon, they work. Neon or lime green with a more festive kind of warmer green. All these things you might be afraid of, but it kind of just shows that if you commit and you actually really follow through with the whole outfit, it's gonna look good. I think the biggest tip is just like, go with what makes you feel good, what you like, you know? Cause I yeah. feel like colors, you can just mash them all together. Forget totally. what they told you in school with the color wheel it might make brown. Good thing with this, you're not mixing anything together. <laughs> you just layer it on top. So yeah. if you like pink with green, or if you like orange yeah. with pink, if you like purple with gold, put it together and see if it works. I feel like you were about to pastor. You know? I was, it was getting to my pastor. You were. <laughs> you're preaching if you the like word. the gold with the purple, and if you like the blue with the white, <laughs> just put it I together. drop the money in the plate. <laughs>